attention just for a little bit. We have uh, some brief, some brief business to conduct. We'll try to get through it as quickly as possible. We have some people we need to honor tonight, and we need your attention to do that. So please. Wendy. Wendy does that, and it usually works great. So I appreciate your attention just for a few minutes. Uh, my name is Dick Neitz. I'm the chairman of the board of the Kid Cut Shaper, and we welcome you to our 86th uh, annual, I wasn't there at the beginning, but uh, 87th annual meeting of the Kid Cut Chamber of Commerce. So we're very happy to be here, and we thank our host, Bill Zammer, the vice chairman of our board, back in the corner, who was graciously supplying drinks to everybody I've heard tonight. And that's a rumor. That's an ugly rumor. Thank you, Bill. And thank you, Matt. Um, I, I wanted to um, just quickly go through the nominating committee's report. Bill Zammer, our vice chair, is the vice chair is historically the chairman of our nominating committee. And we have some new directors coming in for a three-year term ending in 2011. They are, and when I call your name, if you could come up um, near the podium, we're going to try to get some pictures briefly or quickly uh, so we can have uh, them for our annual report. And uh, we need to keep your attention, too, so that people can hear when their name is called. Uh, Jamie Regan, Century 21 Regan Realtors in Nashville. Jamie, can you come up? Uh, Matt Lee, Esquire. Uh, Tochi Goss and, and Lee, Centerville and Boston. Uh, Ricky Angelini from the Wiano Grill in Hyannis. Uh, Dr. Kathy Schatzberg from Cape Cod Community College. These are all new members to our board. Uh, Richard Colley from the Rectrix Aerodrome in Hyannis. Gary Sheehan from Kate Medical, Medical Supply and Sandwich. Joe Forgione from Transaction Resources in Brewster. Uh, Gary Morrissey from the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole. And Carol Sim, who is the uh, CEO of the Rehabilitation Hospital of Cape and the Islands. And uh, Scrimmage Tricostas is uh, from the Dennis Chamber of Commerce, is a one year term uh, as a representative of the local chambers of commerce. So if we could get you up here. And we need a. Approval of the nominating committee report. Do I have a motion to elect the slate? We have a motion. Do we have a second? All in favor say aye. aye. All in favor. Motion carries. Please congratulate, congratulate the new director. You have all received previously, all members of the Kid Cod Chamber of Commerce have received previously proposed bylaw changes. And uh, we would entertain a motion, a motion to accept those bylaw changes as reported to you previously. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? All in favor say aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. The bylaws are enacted. You missed one person. We have a few no, popular directors uh, who are I'd like to have uh, stand and be recognized. Um, Ms. Gary Boris, oh, well. And come okay. up, please, because we have certificates for you in appreciation for your service. Uh, Rusty Pearson from Cape Cod Life Publishing. Randy Shepard from iHealth Services. I saw Randy from a distance a while ago. I know he's here. Uh, George Glafris from Z Donor Club. Dunkin' Donuts. George is here. There he is. Put his jacket on for us. Uh, Mary Katoya, I know could not be here tonight. Uh, Bruce McGregor is, I don't think, here either from Sun Transportation. And our past chairman, uh, Dan Wolf, was unable to be here tonight. Uh, but Paul Rummel, our past chairman of the board for two consecutive terms, plus a fill-in spot uh, from the Davenport Companies, is retiring. As is Steve Abbott, who is the CEO of Cape Cod Healthcare. And we'd like to have all those people come up to get certificates of appreciation for your service on our board of directors. Please give them a round of applause.
please stand if you would in your place. Or, no, please come up because we want to get some pictures of you too. Uh, Bill Catania, Rich Delaney from the Provincetown Center for Coastal Studies, uh, Tom Moore from the Red Jacket Resorts, uh, Greg Stone from the Lighthouse Inn, along with Dave, Dave Augustino from the Cape and Islands Workforce Investment, Investment Board, Jack Gay from Yellow Pages of, of the Window. Please come on up. Come on up here for a picture. Uh, Joe Perkins from Community Management uh, Incorporated. <laughs> Kevin Kepi from Commercial Realty Advisors. Maggie Van Steyer from Woodbriar Financial Corporation. Uh, Dave Willard from Kick Back Lives and Savings Bank. And we're very happy to have your continued service on our board. but she's going to be up in a few minutes with the officers. The, um, the current executive committee will be serving and will be re-elected by the board of directors, hopefully, at their next meeting. But um, I will be continuing as chairman of the board, hopefully, if there's not a coup, and I understand there's one of the Mr. Zandler, but uh, Bill Zandler is the vice chair restaurants, uh, the treasurer, Amber Marie Litchfield from Litchfield and Litchfield, the assistant treasurer, Dorothy Savarese from Cape Cod Fives and Savings Bank, and officers, uh, Howie Onan from the Dockside Hotel Group, Kevin Howard from Wise Living, Charlie Rich from Rich Financial Solutions, and Fred O'Regan from the International Fund for Animal Welfare. If I could ask those people to come up, uh, just for a quick photo, our executive committee for 2008-2009, who will soon be re-elected by our board of directors at the next meeting. Maybe, maybe there's a group, but we're going to presume that we're elected. Carry on. Chamber of Commerce. Um, we kept the awards for a little bit, but then there was a banking group that was giving a Distinguished Service Award, and we kind of backed off of our, our Business Excellence Awards for a few years. So we're very happy to reinstitute those awards this year, and um, I think it's, it, it, it really is a tremendous honor for us to pay tribute to a few of our members who have really shown uh, tremendous support of our organization, but also tremendous support for the community in which they live and work. And uh, some uh, real role models for all of us in the future. The first award is for excellence in the hospitality and recreation category, and the recipient is acknowledged for his extraordinary community commitment and is a role model for other corporations to follow. And that's the Ocean Edge Resort and Club on Route 6A in Brewster, and its general manager, Robert Newman. <laughs> just a bit, we're going to get a couple of pictures, and I'll just give a little bit of the synopsis. But um, Ocean Edge has donated more than $100,000 annually in direct 
and in-kind contributions to the town of Brewster, its numerous community and school groups. Some of these uh, include corporate sponsorship of the Brewster Whitecaps and the Cape Cod Baseball League, support of the Latham Center in Brewster, Brewster and Bloom events, uh, Nossett Regional Schools, and Brewster After School programs. From hosting holiday parties for families in need to a community Easter egg fundraiser uh, for the New Brewster Recreation Department, the resort is a centerpiece of life in its community. Situated on 400 pristine acres, and we're not sure whether that includes the title flats or not. <laughs> Uh, the Ocean Edge uh, Resorting Club is a renowned architectural landmark offering historic charm, deluxe accommodations, and first-class service. General Manager uh, Bob Newman is responsible for operating Ocean Edge through an $18.5 million renovation project that included an $8.5 million redesign of the golf course by Nicholas Design, which opened May 1st. This type of reinvestment in their business is keeping Ocean Edge at the leading edge of hospitality and customer service amenities on Cape Cod. Ocean Edge Resort was nominated by four individuals, including Charlie Sumner, who is the Brewster Town Administrator, and who had this to say. Ocean Edge and its general manager, Bob Newman, are the corporate backbone of Brewster, and the resort's contributions to the community are truly impressive, greatly appreciated, and well-placed. Ocean Edge's commitment is at the highest level and deserving in all ways of the Cape Cod Shapers Business Excellence Award. And we agree. Please welcome Bob Newman and thank him for the service. Okay, our next award is in the category of services. The recipient is acknowledged for their job creation, community commitment, and public service. Chris Joyce and Joyce Landscaping are a classic Cape Cod story. A graduate of Barnesville High School and the UMass Stockbridge School of Architecture, uh, Agriculture, excuse me. Chris began his landscape business while in high school with just a lawnmower and a few local neighbors as customers. He continued his service business while in college, traveling home from Amherst each weekend to perform the necessary work in a timely and professional manner. And he added more customers through a commitment to quality and customer satisfaction. Chris, why don't you come on up here and uh, accept your amazing <laughs> Forestry, he returned to the Cape and grew his one-man business into a multi-million dollar organization. Joyce Landscaping currently employs over 100 local residents each season and maintains a year-round staff of approximately 35. Joyce Landscaping has consistently demonstrated a long-time commitment to its employees with generous wages and a full array of benefits. It's common for full-time employees to receive a year-end bonus. All of his, all of his employees will that in Cape Cod. Joyce Landscaping's generosity goes beyond the good it does for its employees and customers. Each year, they contribute time and money to many local groups and organizations. The list is extensive and includes the Cape and Islands United Way, the Jimmy Fund, the Genesis Fund, the Special Olympics, Big Brothers Big Sisters, YMCA of Cape Cod, the Heart Fund, Hospice and Palliative Care of Cape Cod, Cape Cod Eady Fund, Housing Assistance Corp, and many, many more. Recently, Chris offered his company's volunteer labor and materials to build Barnesville High School's Astro Park, which is now a centerpiece of vibrant outdoor activity for students and faculty. Chris is also the president of the Cape Cod Landscape Association and the Barnesville Silver Bullets football program. Chris Joyce and Joyce Landscaping was nominated by George Searles, who said, through the efforts of his business, Chris and Joyce Landscaping are creating good paying jobs, providing quality service to clients contributing to the community in many ways and demonstrating leadership that is all too often lacking in today's society. We applaud Chris's commitment to Cape Cod and point to his success in growing this company here is one of the many reasons we have awarded Joyce Landscaping this business excellence recognition. Congratulations. Excellence Awards. 
with the, uh, the logo of the Starfish and the Business Excellence Award, uh, they were made special for us by the Fairpoint Glass Company uh, here on the cave, so they've got a little history to them as well. Next, when Steve Abbott arrived on Cape Cod almost 10 years ago, the pieces of, Cape, of the Cape's healthcare delivery system were on the table. Falmouth Hospital, Cape Cod Hospital, the two hospital affiliates, and three visiting nursing associations on Cape Cod. There were over a dozen different boards with 120 members, and Steve spent a lot of time going to meetings. And, and he can kind of bring, kind of mosey on up here if you would, Steve. Gradually, he consolidated boards and streamlined government, governance to deliver Cape Cod health care as we know it today by bringing the parts together and into an integrated system under a single board of trustees, he has given us a model for regional approaches to delivering services and sharing resources. By eliminating hospital competitions, he was able to form a larger critical mass to better serve our 15 towns. He has been able to recruit new physicians, improve hospital quality, and bring new clinical programs and technology to the Cape such as the Open Heart Surgery Program, which has now served almost 1,000 Cape patients. Under Steve's leadership, Cape Cod Healthcare has grown from a $285 million to a $560 million corporation and the largest employer in southeastern Massachusetts. On his watch, he delivered $130 million in new construction. I don't think that was all his money, but I think some of it was. Including the beautiful new rehab facility and medical office building in Falmouth Hospital, the Uber building at the Cape Cod Hospital, which is so much more than just an aid to marine navigation for those of you out in the water. Um, the, the Fontaine Medical Center in Harwich, the Sandwich and Mass Pre Health Centers, and the 40 acres of land that is now available for an ambulatory site on Attics Lane in Hyannis. It is a well-honored health care system, with Cape Cod Hospital being named one of America's top 100 hospitals five times in the last 10 years. Falmouth Hospital was named as one of America's 50 exceptional hospitals, and both hospitals score above the 90th percentile in patient satisfaction. Cape Cod Hospital was designated as the only hospital in Massachusetts last year to score above the national average for the third mortality rate for heart attack. And, to, and tonight, as he prepares to retire after 40 career, we add one more honor to Steve Abbott, Cape Cod Healthcare, the Cape Cod Business Excellence Award. Steve, congratulations. Of the year. In addition, the parade contributes to the future education of young ladies 
who are part of the Parades Committee's program awards four scholarships annually to high school seniors of Irish ancestry to maintain a beat average and are involved in community volunteer work. The Colleen winner receives a $1,000 scholarship and three runner up Colleen Court. Each receives 500 to further their education. The recipient was nominated by past chairman Terrence Glenn, who states that the committee is most that they offer free recreation to the entire family. In these difficult financial times, an event such as the parade is worth its weight in that pot of gold. The parade has gone from 9,000 spectators to over 25,000 in just three years, and this is quite a pot of gold. Congratulations. His early career began as a pool boy at the Blue Water Resort. And last year, he oversaw construction of the new Kahuna Laguna wave pool at the Red Jacket Resort in New Hampshire. Boy, you haven't gotten far away from the pool. <laughs> but Brad's ability to persevere changes in technology, the workforce, consumer demands, regulations, environmental conditions, and distribution channels, without losing sight of the mission of the resorts, is really commendable. Since 1965, he's done this by educating himself, understanding the need to change, and holding, into, holding his team accountable for delivering not only the expected, but the unexpected as well. Today, the Red Jacket Resorts continue to be recognized for the quality of guest experience. We know Paul McBride is one committed to his community. He's served on countless committees on a local and regional basis, including the Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors and our Budget and Finance Committee. Uh, these committee involvements are guarded because his, his opinion is highly valued by neighbors, business leaders, and government officials, and because he has a reputation for getting things done. As was stated in his nomination, quote, if you believe leadership is a process by which a person influences others to accomplish an objective and directs the organization in a way that makes more cohesive and coherent, then you just described Mr. McBride. Alternatively, if you believe leadership is doing the right things, then you just identify Mr. McBride. 
Either way, he carries out this process by applying his leadership, leadership attributes, attributes such as beliefs, values, ethics, character, knowledge, and skills consistently and fairly every day. And we believe he's been doing this every day for 43 plus years of his career. And please join me in congratulating Paul and Brown.